So I have my very first favorites video and it's not going to be like everybody else's favorites video because my channel isn't really focused on beauty and makeup so much. It's really more, my channel's more like style, but I do, I mean, I do do some beauty and um, makeup stuff. So I'll, I'll, it's just going to be an eclectic mix of a little bit of everything that I'm, that I've been using for the whole month of June. So let's get started. First of all, I will show you guys this new fragrance I got. And it's the small bottle of Prada for men. Um, I got it at Ulta. And it's it's like the smell, how would I describe it? It smells just very, very clean. It kind of smells like soap. Soap, but it's like a like a fresh soap with like, a, like an old, it smells very old timey kind of. I feel like maybe they wore this on the Titanic or something. Um, and it also there's also a women's version of this, of the, of the fragrance, and the women's version smells exactly like this version, which my best friend has. Like the women's and the men's smell very, very, very similar, but the men's has just a little bit more of a masculine kind of like undertone to it. Um, but I get so many compliments when I wear this. Um, I've been wearing it almost every time I go out for the past month. I've had it for about a month. I've been wearing it. Everybody always tells me, oh my God, you smell so good, you smell so good. Um, and I'd like, I don't know, I like the packaging. I think it looks nice. It looks nice on my like little vanity. It smells good. It's something that I feel like will last, like the scent will last forever. Like you could buy it time and time again and they'll never kind of go like out of style, I guess. The scent won't. Um, so I, I really, really love this scent and it is Prada for men. Um, then I have this uh, conditioner. And the thing about conditioner for me, like I don't wash my hair every single day. Every, I mean, I, when I take showers every day, I wet my hair, but I don't put shampoo in it a lot. I put shampoo in it maybe twice a week um, because it's just not good for your hair to have it clean so, so much. It really looks a lot better when you style it, when it has a little bit of like, when it's kind of dirty. So I don't shampoo it that much, but I do condition it more often. I maybe condition it four times a week. Um, and this conditioner, which is by, um, I mean, I don't know if they're, it's by Tony and Guy, and it's the Catwalk Collection. Um, it's, so it's a TG product, and it's the Catwalk Collection, and it is oatmeal and honey conditioner. Um, it's comfort food for damaged hair, that's what it says. My hair is, is very, like, dry and brittle and coarse, um, so I, de I have to, like, it's just very thick, so I have to, like, condition it a lot to make it not so damaged, I guess you could say. It's not damaged like I put, I don't know, I don't like put a lot of heat to it or color or anything, but it's just, it's just like coarse and damaged. But this conditioner, I don't know what it is about it, but I definitely have seen a difference in it. And I'm not somebody who like believes that all these different shampoos and conditioners really do like change your hair dramatically. But something about this I do feel has like softened my hair a little bit and gave it just something, something new because I've been getting so many compliments on my hair and I've actually enjoyed doing my hair lately when I use this conditioner because normally I wear hats a lot but lately I have been doing my hair like styling it and it's looked pretty good and so I don't know I feel like maybe this is why so I really really like this um this conditioner and it, I, I'm pretty sure it comes in smaller bottles if you don't want to buy this big one but a lot of times um you can get these TG um pump bottles they're they're like two for 20 I believe twice a year at Tony and Guy salons if there's a Tony and Guy salon in your city if not you can buy these I think at like Target and any like high-end kind of um, beauty store you could buy these products um, and I'm pretty sure they're not Ulta I know Ulta has them I think but um, yeah anyways me and my sister have been using it all month that's why it's like almost gone well it's been more than a month but anyways okay so next I have been really into these sunglasses these sunglasses are from H&M and this is what they look like and I really like them because I've, I've been looking for like a tortoise shell like brown kind of style of sungla uh, sunglasses and this one I like because I just think it's like very different and cool like I don't know I feel like I haven't ever really seen a style like this um, they kind of look like vintagey to me and just cool just cool and different and something something just unique um, I mean they are from H&M so a lot of people probably have them but they weren't expensive. They were maybe like five, five something. And so I've been really into these lately this month. I've been wearing them a lot. So I really like those. And then second, or that's the fourth, is 
this uh, Lakers snapback cap. I've been wearing this like every day almost because I have Lakers. The Lakers is my team. In case you didn't know, I love the Lakers. Um, and this hat is like vintage, I guess, because my it's it's my dad's hat. My dad used to wear it like back in the day when he used to wear cool hats like this. And it's a snapback. And I was going through his like old because he has a bunch of his hats um, that he saved. And I saw this and I don't. I just thought it was pretty dope so I took it out and I've been wearing it a lot lately um, and yes yeah, so I think I'm just, I, it's one of my favorite things I've been wearing this month so I'm really into this really cool Lakers snapback cap um, okay and then I think these swim trunks right here these American flag swim trunks from Walmart are like my favorite swim trunks this summer like I have a pool in my backyard so I'm in the pool like almost every other day and I'm tanning and stuff like that. And I just really, really like these, especially the other day for the 4th of July. I wore these. And you know, like American flag themed stuff is like super like cool right now. So um, yeah, I've, I've been wearing these and I get a lot of compliments on them and they were only like $7 from Walmart. Um, I'm not sure if every Walmart in the country has them or if they still have them. I got them probably about a month ago, like right in the beginning of summer, I picked them up because I needed some new swim trunks and I wanted some American flag ones and they had some Urban Outfitters that were like 30 something dollars and then I went to Walmart and I saw these and these were only like seven dollars so of course I picked these up so really into these right now um and then I have some shoes like when I was in high school I used to wear Jordans all the time I used to get them not every pair that came out but I used to, if I liked them I got them because it was like really cool when I was in high school to like have the new J's not that that's why I bought them I really genuinely like them but recently I haven't really been wearing them that much well for the past couple years since I've been out of high school I haven't been wearing them that much but for the past month I got back into my J's a lot and I've been wearing them and this pair which are um fours I've been wearing them like a lot a lot a lot and I don't I just I feel like I'm starting to get back into J's again I kind of want to like start buying new ones again but I've been wearing these all the time they're kind of they're kind of dirty I need to clean them but for these are probably about like eight years old and I mean they still are in pretty good condition this is the first pair of J's actually I ever bought I love the color combination they're black gray and white my favorite colors um, and I pretty much wear these with anything because I, I don't know gray is like a neutral color to me so like the other day I had on a black button-up some burgundy burgundy pants and I wore these gray J's so they go with everything, and I love them, and they're one of my favorite things from June. So, yeah. Um, and then, lastly, I have this book that I'm really into, which is Most Talkative by Andy Cohen. And I haven't read that much of the book. I've only probably read, like, a quarter of it because I'm a really slow reader. Like, I just feel like it's just... I don't know, it takes a lot for me to want to sit down and read. I enjoy reading when I do read, but find like getting me to actually sit down and do it kind of takes a lot. Once I do it, then I read a lot. But I just, I don't know, I just haven't finished it. But what I've read, I'm really into. And the reason it's one of my favorite things is because in June, June 6th, I believe, um, I got to meet Andy at a book signing. And that's where I got this from. And he actually signed my book. If you could see, it says Nico with a little smiley face. And then it says Andy Cohen at the bottom and he was like super cool super nice super like personable like everything that you've seen on watch happens live and their union shows like he's just so cool and down to earth and i really enjoyed meeting him and i can't wait to finish the book because what i've read has been very very like intriguing and i love learning about like people and how they got to where they where they are and stuff like that so i'm really enjoying this book and aside from all that i have a super big like crush on him i think he's so cute I really want to go on a date with him, to be honest with you. Maybe one day I will. So, yeah. If you like reading and you like memoirs or biographies, go pick up this book, Andy Cohen, Most Talkative Stories from the Front Lines of Pop Culture. So, yeah. And then I guess that's it. Um, oh, well, actually, I want to tell you about some other th some things I've been into. I've been really into uh, Lana Del Rey, which I know she's been around for a minute and I'm kind of late, but I just picked up her album this month. And I've been listening to it all the time. And the National Anthem video, which is her, I think it's her newest single. The video just came out. And that video is just like, it's so freaking cool. I, 
it's like my favorite video right now. I think she's so beautiful. I love her style. I love the like cohesion in her look and in her everything she does is kind of like she just sticks to the same kind of thing. Her thing she look she's like a modern day hipster Jackie O kind of thing. I don't know. I just love her. And then I'm really into Iggy Azalea, who has also been around for a minute, and I'm kind of late, but I just started listening to her music, and I can't wait for her album to come out. I love Murder Business with T.I. It's like, I just love that song so much. And then her other new song with B.O.B. called uh, Million Dollar Misfits. I love that song. If you haven't heard her before, go, first of all, first go Google her. Google Iggy Azalea. Look at how she looks, and then go to YouTube and watch her videos, and it's just like, it's so cool how she sounds. She looks like a high fashion model, and I believe she just actually got signed to a modeling agency to like model model because she looks like a freaking model, but she actually sounds like the hoodest bitch you've ever heard rap before, and I just think she's so cool. So I like Iggy Azalea a lot, and let's see, TV shows, I'm really, my new favorite show right now is Girls on HBO, and the season just ended, but that show is so amazing. It's, I feel like it's just so, it's just so cool. It's like the perfect kind of, I don't know, like, way to, it's like the perfect story of, like, the modern kind of, like, 20-something-year-old girl just, like, trying to figure shit out, like, as she goes, you know? Like, making mistakes, learning from them, and living life, and dating, and working, and the state of, kind of, like, our country, and how the recession affects, just, like, all this really, really cool stuff, and uh, aside from all that, it's just, like, so funny. So I love that show, Girls, I can't wait for the DVD to come out so I can buy it, and I can't wait for next season. Okay, so I think that's all of my favorites for this month, all the things I'm pretty into and obsessed with. Um, if you have any questions about anything, comment and let me know. It might take me a while to get back to the comments. It usually does. The best way to get to me is to um, tweet me. And I'll put my Twitter and all that stuff down below as usual. My Twitter is twitter.com slash Nico Cisneros. Um, so definitely, if you have any questions, tweet me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And other than that, just check out my blog, nicosisneros.blogspot.com. And until my next video, um, I'll talk to you all later.